I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Matrix Linear Transformations. In this video, we will try to understand how to find equation of any invariant lines through the origin of the transformation given to us. We have three examples to illustrate the process. You can always pause the video, copy these questions, work them out. We'll begin with the simple concept and then provide you with the solution. Questions are of the type, find the equation of any invariant lines through the origin of the transformation whose matrix is A equals to 3, 0, 1, 2. So we have different matrices and in each case we'll try to find equation of any invariant lines. Now, what do we mean really is something like this. We're trying to say that there are lines which are going through origin. So let's take this line going through origin, kind of like this. Right, so that will be a line going through origin. In general, equation of this line will be y equals to mx, correct? Since the y-intercept is the origin itself. Now, we are given different transformation matrix, so we can do the transformation matrix, but when we do this transformation, we take a point on the line and in general, the vector, position vector for this point can be written as, let me write down, the position vector could be written as, uh, let's say, a position vector P, OP, let us say, will be written as T M T correct T M T and therefore the transformation when applied to this position vector will be A times T M T correct so that will give us the the image right so that will be the image point now if this image point is on the line itself that is to say if the image of this point is somehow on the line itself right so all the images are on the line itself it may be like this or it could be something like this in that case the points may change their position however they lie on the same point so what we get here is invariant line and what is a key parameter to check here is that the slope m remains same for invariant lines through origin. So that is the key. So I hope you have understood the process. We'll now illustrate the same with the help of these three examples. So let's take up the first example now, which is find the equation of any invariant lines through the origin of the transformation whose matrix is A equals to 3, 1, 0, 2. So in general, the line will be Y equals to MX, right? So we have a parametric form where we can say that if x equals to t, then y equals to mt. Okay? So that becomes the parametric form. Now with this parametric form, we can write position vector as tmt. Perfect. So when you apply the transformation, in that case, what happens? Let's see. Now let's apply the transformation. So if you apply the transformation, and in this case, we are applying the transformation A, which is 3, 1, 0, 2 on T, M, T. So what you get is, uh, 3 times t plus mt 
and 0 plus 2 empty. That's what you get. Now, for this invariant, for this to be an invariant line, slope should be same. That is the critical condition which we discussed earlier. Perfect. That is the critical equation. Correct. So how do we figure out that slope? The idea is from here we get two different equations. The first equation here is x is equals to 3t plus mt. Right. And the second equation here is y equals to 2 empty. Let me write here. y equals to 2 empty. I left this gap since I want to isolate t from here and write it in terms of x. So we could actually write this as x equals to t is common, right? So we get 3 plus m. And from here, we get the condition that t is equal to x over 3 plus m. Now, we can use this condition and write down our equation of y equals to 2mt where t is x over 3m, right? So, we get y equals to 2 times m. We'll write to and t is x over 3 plus m. So that becomes the value for y. Correct? So here in this equation, you can see that the slope is basically 2m over 3 plus m. For this line going through the origin, right? This line is going through the origin. Now in this particular case, same slope. means that this slope 2m over 3 plus m should be equal to m. Perfect. It should match with this slope. 2m over 3 plus m should be equal to m. We now get an equation which is a quadratic equation which can be solved to find the value of m. So let's cross multiply. So we get 2m equals to 3m plus m square or m square and taking away 2m from here we have uh, plus 3m minus 2m equals to 0 and that gives you the equation m square plus m equals to 0. Now let's solve this equation. So we have this equation m square plus m equals to 0. Taking m common we get the value of m as 0 or minus 1. So this is true only for m equals to 0 or for m equals to minus 1. Do you see that? Now, so that becomes the equation of our lines which will be invariant for the given transformation. So we have two equations. One could be when m is 0, we get y equals to 0. And the other one, we get y equals to minus x. So we substitute this value here in this equation, y equals to mx. Do you see that? So for m equals to 0, it becomes y equals to 0. For y, m equals to minus 1, it becomes y equals to minus x. And therefore, these are the two lines which will be invariant for the given transformation. Is that clear to you? Correct? So that is how we are going to solve such questions. Let us look into this process once again while solving question number two. You can now pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions, right? So here we are given the transformation B which is 3, 2, minus 1, 0, right? We'll consider y equals to mx as our line through the origin, right? Since the question here is find the equation of any invariant lines through the origin 
of the transformation whose matrix is B equals to 3, 2, minus 1, 0. Now, parametric equation is when x equals to t, y equals to mt. Now, this parametric equation will look into the image once the transformation is applied. So, so the transformation which is 3, 2, minus 1, 0 will be applied to the parametric equation tmt. Perfect. So when you do that, then what we get here is 3 times t plus 2mt and here we get minus t. Correct. That becomes your image. Now this image gives us two different equations. First is x equals to 3t plus 2mt. From here, we can isolate t. So, we can write x equals to 3 plus 2m, t being common, and x over 3 plus 2m is equal to t. The other equation is y equals to minus t. Substitute this value. So, we get y equals to minus, instead of t, we'll let x over 3 plus 2m. Now, slope m should be equal to minus 1 over 3 plus 2m. Is that clear to you? That is how we get the equation for invariant line slope, right? Do you get the idea? Correct? So now, we will solve for m. We will cross multiply. So we get 3m plus 2m square equals to minus 1. Bringing all the terms together, we get 2m square plus 3m plus 1 equals to 0. So this equation can be solved. Uh, we can factor this, right? So 1 times 2 is 2. We need 3. So 2 and 1. So we could write this as 2m square plus 2m plus m plus 1 equals to 0. Taking 2m common, we get m plus 1 plus we have m plus 1 here, right? Equals to 0. And we get m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Now, this equation is true for m equals to minus 1 and for m equals to minus half. And that gives you two different values of m. Since we are looking for a line through the origin, right, so the equation has to be y equals to mx, we get our solution. And the solution is y equals to minus x and y equals to minus half x. So these are the two invariant lines for the given transformation. Is that clear to you? So once again, the steps are apply the transformation to the position parametric equation, you can say, or a position vector. And then from the image, what you get, you actually form two equations. From those equations, you equate slope m equal to the slope given from these equations and then find the slope for which the image matches with the original and that gives you the right answer. Perfect. We'll apply this strategy once again for question number three. I'd like you now to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Question number three here is. Find the equation of any invariant lines through the origin of the transformation whose matrix is B equals to 1 minus 3, 2, 4. So we'll again begin by writing uh, the equation of line through origin, which would be Y equals to MX. Perfect. And the parametric equation can be written as M equals to T. In that case, sorry, sorry x equals to t. In that case, y will be mt. Once you apply the transformation b on this, so when you apply the transformation, then what you get here is 1 minus 3, 2, 4 on the position vector tmt, right? And that gives you uh, the result as uh, t 
we do the product, right? Minus 3mt. And this gives you 2t plus 4mt. Now from here, we get two different equations to solve. One equation is x equals to t minus 3mt. We use this equation to isolate t. So we get x equals to t common, 1 minus 3m, right? Or um, x over 1 minus 3m as equal to t. The second equation here is y equals to 2t plus 4mt. Well, we can take t common here. So we get 2 plus 4m times t is the value of y. Or we can write y equals to 2 plus 4m and the value of t is x over, let's put this in brackets now, x over 1 minus 3m. So the slope from this equation here can be written as m equals to 2 plus 4m over 1 minus 3m. Perfect. The slope has to match for the invariant line, right? So the condition here is, as we should write clearly, slope should be same, right? For invariant lines. That is why we equate it to m, right? Now let's solve for it. So we can cross multiply. So we get m minus 3m square equals to 2 plus 4m. Bring them together. So we get 0 equals 2. We are taking this to the right side. 3m square uh, plus 4m minus m plus 2. So that gives us 0 equals to 3m square uh, plus 3m plus 2. Right. So that is the equation which we have. Now, let's try to solve this equation. What is the value of m? So m equals to minus p, which is minus 3, plus minus square root of b square, which is 9, minus 4ac. 4 times 3, 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Divided by 2 times a, which is 6. Now here, since within the square root, we have a negative number, right? So we, what we get here is minus 3 plus minus square root of, that is negative, right? So, so taking away, we get negative 15 over 6. So that means we have no solution. So in this particular case, for the given condition, we do not have any invariant line. So no invariant line. That is true. Correct. Since the value of m is undefined, is not known, there is no solution, right? It could be undefined is a solution, however. Here, since because of this, we don't have any real value of m, and therefore, in this case, we have no invariant line for the given transformation. So, what you saw here is that there are different conditions. Sometimes, you may get one or two solutions, and sometimes you don't get any solution. So, that helps you to understand how do we figure out equation of lines which are invariant and which are passing through the origin. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.